Good afternoon guys, how you doing? This is Michael Musino, broker owner of Camden McKay Realty. And we're here in the city of Ranch Cucamonga and uh, we're providing you guys information on several of the schools in the city of Ranch Cucamonga. So I'm here next to my son, Tyler Musino, and my beautiful wife, Lisa Musino, behind the camera. Um, so son, whose school is this? Mine. Yeah, and then how long have you gone here? One year. One year, okay, and how do you like it? It's pretty good, it's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you think, what would you like uh, for the school to have here? Sports. Yeah, sports, yeah. So most of the L uh, middle schools here in the city of Ranch Cucamonga, for whatever reason, especially in the Etiwanda School District, they don't have sports. So, uh, you know, be it uh, soccer, basketball, or football, they don't have any of those sports. So my son would, would like to have that. But um, so a little bit of details of the, of the school. So the school is actually one of the newer schools. So it was built in 2004. Uh, it's got approximately 1,311 students. Uh, an interesting fact here too is that the address is 12345 Coyote. So that's, uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, Gradeschools.org uh, gives us a rating of 10. This is probably one, if not one of the strongest uh, middle schools in the Inland Empire in our opinion. Okay, so it's a, it's a very good school. Um, also, as my wife pointed out before, the kids that attend the school probably have one of the best views in Ranch Cucamonga. So uh, directly north of us, we have the mountains. So in the back of the school, there is nothing behind there. I mean, there's some houses, but it's elevated. So you just have a beautiful valley view there, um, you know, from uh, from the back of the school. So um, some things to point out too. Uh, in the city of Rancho Cucamonga, you definitely have to uh, get an expert in the city uh, to make sure you're taken to the right neighborhoods. Uh, and also every neighborhood here can have different tax rates, okay? A lot of these neighborhoods were newer neighborhoods. so. Um, some have lower tax rates, some have higher tax rates. Uh, for example, the neighborhood adjacent to us, just north of us here, um, these taxes are fairly low. So the tax rates approximately uh, between 1.25 to 1.3. Now, if we go a little bit further north to the gated Rancho Atawanda Estates, uh, those taxes can range anywhere from 1.7 to uh, 2.1 for the newer homes that were just built. So it's very important that if you're looking for a home in the Rancho, Cucum in the city of Rancho Cucamonga, excuse me, that you get a local expert um, because they can guide you to the different uh, different neighborhoods if maybe you don't want to have high taxes they can let you know which neighborhoods those are so um, homes in this area uh, you have some that have larger uh, home sites um, so anywhere from from 10 to, to maybe uh, uh, 15,000 18,000 square foot lots some in a cul-de-sac um, and then some are as low or as small as uh, 7,000 so the average price uh, of homes in this um, adjacent area um, that have sold the last year are 833,000. So it's still, you know, a very, very good, uh, good price point. Uh, but yeah, so again, one of the newer schools in the city of Rancho Cucamonga, this is a big draw for families here. Uh, this particular school, great view. Uh, my son, very, you know, ecstatic about the school too. And um, he's looking forward to get back to school, right son? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call anytime and we can discuss any of these neighborhoods uh, that you guys are interested in. Thank you very much. Have a great day.